Hi everyone, I'm Ron with Pacific Permaculture. Today what I'm going to talk about is I'm re-envisioning my foodscape here and my lifestyle. So come check it out. Okay, if you look over here, I'm starting to wood chip the yard. Now, for those who don't know, the wood chips are to help with weed suppression and also to build up the soil. And, to, you know, part of that weed suppression is to suppress them without putting noxious chemicals on there. No herbicides, no biocides type of thing. Okay, we want life to build back up. We want the earthworms to come back up, till the soil, the wood chips to break down, the earthworms to mix it in and have worm castings and all that good stuff and make a nice healthier soil. Also, at some point, I'll be putting some compost compostable items in there as we go to make uh, what Howie of uh, Food Forest Permaculture calls the Pathway Soil Bank. Anyway, so kudos to Howie. Thanks for the idea about the Pathway Soil Bank. And uh, it sounds like it's going to make my life much easier while I'm doing all this. Okay, it's still going to be work. It's just about getting the most out of your work. That's the thing. So, those who think permaculture is no work are kind of off base. It's still work, but you know, washing clothes even in a wash machine is work, so preparing food is work. It's just about selecting the work that fits you type of thing. You know, so look, I've put down cardboard first because it takes a while to break that down. Now, it's a chemical breakdown and it's also a, a light barrier. It uses up the nitrogen in the soil to break down that first layer of carbon, okay? The cardboard, and it also acts as a light block to help block the weeds from germinating and everything. And by then, by the time it gets through the cardboard, you got, I don't know, eight or 10 inches of, uh, of uh, wood chips to break down. And seasonally, I'll keep adding to this pile. This isn't the only amount of pile here. It, it will be keeping added to as we go to keep the weeds back and also to build up the lower layer, layer that's near the dirt into a wonderful soil. And then I can plant within it. That, that's where I'm starting. I don't have everything even wood chipped yet. Had some contentious issues with rebuilding other things. and. Uh, Anyway, that's the way that went. But let's go around the side and see what I got there. So here we come along the alley road. I've started a wood chip here also. Partly I'm running low on chips. They use up quickly. And uh, anyway, I do what I can when I can. More coming this week. At some point I'll have this all uh, suppressed, these weeds. And... Uh, at that point, I can start maintaining, but until then. And also here, I have some new challenges. There was a house here, and it was uh, demoed. So, I don't have anything against that. It was an old modular home. And anyway, the owners didn't want it here anymore. So, the issue is, now it's reduced my shade corridor. I didn't realize until today. There was shade would come off the house, would get under the road here. So the road didn't get as hot. So the hotter the road gets, harder to grow things here and hotter potentially to get in the house. So I'll have to be doing things to increase my shade corridor. And I hadn't thought of the side as much, but anyway, in the back for sure, I'm gonna increase it more trees so that any heat coming this way so, so any heat coming up this way will be reduced when it hits that shade corridor the shade of the trees see so it's pretty bare here reduce that to uh, increase the shade amount so that it keeps it cooler overall as they tell us it's going to get hotter and hotter, I want to offset that and make it even cooler than it's been here. So that's the thing. Or at least maintain to where it's at now or below a little bit, right? So that's the thing. 
and then on the side like I say even it can be annual sunflowers whatever along the stretch of road to minimize offset that heat island effect and cast some shade towards the house you know that type of thing I may even have a uh, I'm thinking of some kind of a canopy system that comes off the eave under the gutter that rolls out with uh, shade cloth high percentage shade cloth so that I can really keep it cooler in the summer than let it get hot and I can always make it where I can roll it back potentially so that's a thought we'll see where I end up with that thought but anyway for now that's been a thought of mine and uh, what else so anyway this is the start of something good and uh, stay tuned and watch where it goes basically you know do I did I sit down and design all this in the perfect permaculture way no sorry I, uh, I have some ideas and I kind of go for it some things work some don't it's more of a trial and error but uh, it's doing going good so far I've got all this and uh, I'm happy to have it like it is and uh, learning things all the time this little maple tree looked really dead and it was real scratchy pokey when I was putting down the wood chips so I clipped it back and look what happened new growth okay it sprouted new growth in spite of being of its neglect here anyway at some point I'll probably replace this with something that produces shade and some kind of an edible crop so for now I don't want to get rid of it though for now I'm not ready to do that yet once I build this soil around I'll put a few things and uh, you know just making a better quality of life that's the whole thing without having to work at it 80 hours a week okay I'm gonna get it to a, it beat it back into submission to some level and then just maintain it and uh, my cactus is doing okay still of course with a lot of neglect which it does I've moved many things off the driveway because in my permaculture ethic of trying to utilize the heat what I didn't realize is that many of these plants for many of those plants they were getting too much heat from the hot pavement so this changes what I'm going to do learning and growing you know it's all a process anyway so moving forward I, I you can see the rings of the the kind of stain marks on the driveway where I had had these half barrels so I moved those to the back and I'll probably put this up above so the driveway is more clear and it'll be more clean looking and yet you know to hedge my bets to keep it cool in another way to shade it in some form or fashion because all this heat when the heat pavement heats up we're talking about the heat island effect it adds another 10 to 15 degrees to the area of uh, temperature Fahrenheit well who knows how much that adds to the heat of the house so we want to minimize that if I can minimize the the amount of heat out here then I can use you know with low-tech solutions I don't have to use the higher tech like air conditioning and things like that that require a very skilled individual to fix when they break down and take a lot of energy I want to use the low energy uh, ways to produce the results I need that can be fixed by the average handy person doesn't take some specialized individual to come out a lot of people in society could fix a tarp or or a shade cloth that tears not that many can fix air conditioning therefore it's not cheap so it, it all ties into keeping your cost down keep it cooler this type of thing even to have the vehicle parked out here helps because look it's shading the driveway also keeping it cooler so at times I can do things like that anyway uh, this whole thing is about finding strategies to 
make our lives better with the same or less resources. But potentially with much less once we get plants established, you know, and this type of thing. And then healthier things because it's it's been matured on the plant, this fruit or this vegetable. Where in the store, they have to pick it early for marketing reasons. And then it doesn't last. So that's the thing. And uh, also, here's the thing. Putting down all these wood chips, it's not just about the soil. It's about cultivating me. Uh, I find it to be very relaxing. Okay, so that's the other benefit. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, you know, watch several times. Whatever you can to help, please. Thank you. Bye.